Happy Saturday, everyone. Mitch and I are just hanging out, having a little rosé, because normally, on a beautiful Saturday afternoon like this, we would be coming home from a beautiful brunch that we just had, or perhaps in the middle of a post-brunch bar crawl. Or maybe I'm waking up from a post-brunch nap. But either way, I'm gonna need another drink and I'm gonna need a little bit of caffeine. So even though it's not quite five o'clock here yet, I thought I would put an it's five o'clock here spin on the latest thing to sweep the internet, Dalgona coffee. Dalgona coffee is essentially, it's a foam. It's a foamed coffee that you put on top of milk or a milk alternative. And it looks super cool. And it's gonna taste like whatever you put in it. The basic recipe is just instant coffee, sugar, and water. Warm water to make sure that it melts that instant coffee. But I thought, it's missing something. Bourbon. So, we're gonna make a spiked Dalgona coffee today. But I wanted to make sure to get the actual foam right itself, so I did a little bit of research. The traditional recipe is two tablespoons of instant coffee, which is a lot, and two tablespoons sugar, two tablespoons water. You whip the heck out of it. They say 400 to 4,000 times. I find it's much closer to 4,000. It's extremely labor intensive. So during quarantine and physical and social distancing, what better time to make something that takes you forever to make? It's perfect. But I, I found that that particular recipe wasn't quite as, it didn't quite hit the mark for me. Now I do want to go ahead and caveat this with two tablespoons of instant coffee. I'm using Folgers because that is what my wonderful corner store, Yang Market, uh, has in stock, which if you're a coffee snob, there are instant coffees out there that are more gourmet. Um, Starbucks has a Via if you're a Starbucks fan. Uh, Ruby Coffee Roasters has one that my friend Jason recommended to me and he is a coffee uh, connoisseur. Um, and then I'm sure a lot of other ones are out there. So go ahead and support some small coffee chains and see if they have some instant coffee. But on the back of this, one serving is one teaspoon. There are three teaspoons in a tablespoon. We are using two tablespoons, which means this is six cups of coffee. So according to about the amount of caffeine that is in this, it's gonna be almost 450 milligrams of coffee. I'm sorry, caffeine. I've already had a lot of this today. So that's a lot. So the preparation that we're gonna to make today will yield enough foam, the Dalgona foam, for two drinks, and then you will just double or make two of the actual milk parts. So please, please do not drink all of that coffee. It's gonna drive you nuts. So let's get to it. So Dalgona Coffee recently got this crazy blow up on Instagram uh, because of a South Korean pop star was on some reality show and they made it at some restaurant and it looked cool and everyone said, I want that. And he said it tasted like some sort of South Korean candy called uh, Dalgona, which apparently tastes like toffee. I'm not sure, I've never had it. Um, but yeah, from there, everyone said, wow, that looks beautiful. I must insta it. So I had to insta it too. So I came up with my own perfect way of doing this. I cannot take full credit for it. Uh, my friend Jason also turned me on to this guy named James Hoffman, who is a coffee guru. Uh, check him out on YouTube. He also has a, an episode all about Dalgona coffee and how you can make it, how you can improve it. So I tweaked his recipe and took uh, some, some things that I wanted to do myself to, to make my own uh, Dalgona foam. So we're gonna start the traditional way. Two tablespoons of coffee, which is I mean, it's essentially, I mean, this is an amphetamine shot. I mean, this is, that is gonna take you over the edge. I'm also going to be using a simple syrup instead of just the regular, uh, the regular sugar. And I chilled my simple syrup because the colder it is, it, it increases the viscosity. And so that's gonna actually allow your foam to build more quickly. And that means you don't have to whip it 4,000 times and make your shoulder almost fall off or beg your boyfriend to come and help finish that for you. 
Thank you, Kevin, so much. I couldn't have done this without you. So I then did not do the full two tablespoons of hot water uh, because we do have some of that water coming in from our simple syrup. So I did one and a half tablespoons. So you're gonna start with your coffee in a mixing bowl. And then I'm gonna do one and a half tablespoons of the hot water. So one tablespoon, because you, you, you definitely want to, uh, and then let's see your little halfy, there we go. So it's also half a tablespoon is also 1.5 teaspoons if that's an easier way for you to remember it. So I'm gonna whisk this up a little bit just to make sure that the coffee is dissolved, otherwise it's gonna get chunky, which is nasty. So just, ah! see this is why I'm wearing Lily Pulitzer while doing this. Lily Pulitzer actually uh, was started uh, by Lily Pulitzer in Florida. Her husband owned an orange grove and so she could get some extra money on the side and you know, because you know, she was wealthy and had nothing much else to do. Um, she made orange juice and she sold it at a little stand. And so she always got orange stains all over her clothes. And so she started uh, finding and making different kinds of beautiful pattern fabrics so that the orange stains wouldn't show up. And so, that's how Lily Pulitzer got her start. It was completely utilitarian. So that's why the patterns are like they are, um, to hide stains. So that's why I'm doing this, because I'm gonna get coffee all over myself. All right, so my coffee is, it is now dissolved. So two tablespoons of instant coffee, 1.5 tablespoons of, uh, of the hot water. Now I'm gonna add in two tablespoons of chilled simple syrup. One. Ooh. Now, the the inspiration for my version, I'm just gonna give that, I'm gonna start whisking it. And this is when it takes one million years. But because it is cold, the simple syrup, um, it actually makes it not as long and laborious. So um, the inspiration actually for this version of my spiked Dalgona is the uh, Sambuca and Espresso. So Sambuca is an anisette liqueur from Italy. And this is, this is infuriatingly, it's gonna take a long time. Um, I'm not gonna make you watch the whole thing because magic of television, I have another one ready. Um, and so uh, Sambuca is an anisette liqueur and it's traditionally served uh, in a shot. Um, and it can also be served with espresso or with espresso beans. Um, and so sometimes, you know, they'll serve it with one, which is a la mosca, which with the fly, which I, I, I don't know, I don't get it. Um, the other one is with seven espresso beans, which would be for the seven hills of Rome. And the third one would be uh, three espresso beans, which is for health, prosperity, and happiness. And so that's where I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on today. So they also, uh, serve it with an orange peel. So we are going to then, uh, once, you're, you're, once you've got it a little bit whisked, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, um, if you have Sambuca, you can use Uzo actually, I'm using my absinthe sprayer. Um, just do a little dash, I know it's like, what is a dash? Use a little bit of the, I'm gonna use about six sprays out of this um, into the coffee foam, just to give it a little bit of that anisette flavor. So. And then I'm also going to do just a little bit of orange zest. So, you know, just a little bit on top. There's, there's no exact science to this one. So just, you know, maybe one, two, three. I'm using a microplane. You can use, you know, a cheese grater that works as well. So keep, keep whipping the heck out of this sucker until it, magic of television. Oh no. It looks, oh my gosh, I'm so quick. I'm, I'm so strong, this is so great. It's gonna look like a meringue. Now, I'm sure if you whipped it more and more and more and more and more, it would get much stiffer peaks. I've also seen some recipes where they actually add in uh, egg whites, like dried egg whites, but ain't nobody got time for that. So, let's set this aside and let's get to the drink part. So, what we are going to do is we are going to use two ounces of oat milk 
And I like oat milk. Um, I, I think it has a lovely flavor and it especially works well in cocktails with bourbon. I think it holds up very nicely. You can use regular milk too. Um, I would say don't use skim milk, use a 2% at least. And then we're gonna do one ounce of bourbon. I'm using Elijah Craig here. And then we're going to do a half an ounce of a coffee liqueur. You can use Kahlua. Today I'm going to be using um, Distillaire by Copper and Kings. This is uh, from Louisville, Kentucky. So a half an ounce of this. And then a quarter of an ounce of our simple syrup. Now, there we are. We're going to put it in ice. I don't like, uh, in the original Dalgona recipe, they say put ice in your milk and then pour the foam on top. I think that's terrible because the best part of this whole drink is the fact that you can sip that milk right out of that foam on top. And so if you have just ice poking through there, I think that's gonna be terrible. And then it's also gonna water down your drink. So just go ahead and chill it at the beginning. And that way your, your drink is gonna be much more consistent from the beginning. All right, so that is nice and cold. So using a strainer, I'm using my Hawthorne strainer, we're going to strain this into a glass. And like I said, this is really caffeinated, not this part, but the, the actual foam part is super caffeinated. So that's why I'm gonna have a lot of the, the actual drink. And now I'm going to spoon on top my Dalgona foam and I will show you what this is gonna look like. It's super cool. Ah, oh, beautiful. And again, uh, the recipe I gave you will give you enough foam for two drinks, so you can uh, share with your roommates, significant other. Please don't give it to your pets. Um, you can save it for yourself for later. You just have to re-whip it. I don't really know how long it stabilizes for, um, but it will start to, the air bubbles will start to come out of that. Um, so just make sure that you re-whip it. And so I'm gonna just put a little bit more on that. And just smooth out the top. And then we're gonna top it with just a little spritz of my anisette. It's gonna give it a bit of a richer color because it's taken some of those air bubbles out. And then we're gonna to top it again with a little bit of orange zest. So, and that really makes sure it's super, it's just gonna be so wonderfully aromatic. And you know, vitamin C. And then I'm gonna to top it with health, prosperity, and happiness. My happiness is running away from me. And there we are, a spiked Dalgona coffee.